What's going on guys, Skylord Studios 005 back here again. And today we're gonna to be doing a review of the Cosmic Vector Battle Set. Now, I think, I don't know if the video is out now. Um, I posted what you guys would want me to order. If it's not out or the upload didn't work properly, I asked my friends the same question and they voted Cosmic Vector. Also the Pro Series, um, couldn't find in store. I was going to order them on Amazon, but I went to the store today and I was like, hey, I see this. Don't need to order it. I'm picking it up. So, yeah. So, as you, in case you guys didn't know, this is a double-decker stadium with this little thing in the middle here um, being able to be removed and allowing you guys to battle on that lower green deck. Um, retails for $66.99. Target. Comes with two bays, two launchers, and an extra two um, armor tips, um, which I don't really use because they don't really have assigned bays, but there's Octo and I want to say Merge. Um, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong about that. Uh, the tip looks like seven, but the body looks like Merge. It looks like a hybrid maybe. So, in total, we do get four tips, including the ones on our bays. But, real quickly, let's go over the bays. We're going to go over Destruction, or Devastate Bellfire. Um, I feel like this one has some pretty tight teeth. Or, not tight teeth. Pretty tight slopes. If they give this thing teeth, that'd be horrifying. Um, <coughs> pardon my allergies, guys. Um... This is supposed to be All Might. Um, let me go get my actual All Might so I can show you guys. This little round part here, represented by this part. And these four little prongs are supposed to be those four little prongs. And then I guess whenever you remove it, I honestly don't know what that's supposed to be. Comment down below. Do you guys know? Kind of looks like Mobius, but I don't know. I do like the attachment better than it without the attachment. I don't really like the disc because the disc is just a reused disc. I would have rather them give us Nexus because at least this is based off Nexus. But yeah, comes with the two armor and the Bellfire core, Bellfire two core, not the original Bellfire core. Um, does have really strong teeth. Uh, I don't like that it's off-center, um, because it's supposed to be like this, look like that, but comparison between uh, Dangerous Belial and Devastate Bellfire, overall, not that bad compared to some of the other ones. Next up, we have Prominence Phoenix, which, again, is off-center, which I personally really don't like. Compared to the original Prominence Phoenix. Another thing that I hate that they did. Is that they got rid of the gimmick. Even if it was just like a little bit. They still like. Because this can still do it. Why not give it this. Um, By the way. Got rid of the burst lock on this. And got rid of the activation gimmick. Don't really like. But I saw them doing that. I had a feeling they were going to do that. Burst locks on these are going to be too hard to make for them. And the activation would just be too hard to do a 2-in-1 for. However, I wish they would have done the driver like this. And the attachment be with V-Gear. That would have been a lot cooler. So we can actually have something similar to full gear. But, whatever. This one is not free spin. Which I take more of an offense to. Due to the fact that literally last wave, I can pull up the driver. We got um, Universe... Met Speedstorm Metal, which did have free spin. So, yeah. But then, you remove the attachment. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Seems like a stamina balance type driver. Uh, it comes with tapered 10 and prominence blade and the Phoenix Core. Overall, I think the Phoenix Core has better slopes. But just a little bit more underwhelming. But if you guys... Also, this is kind of, I guess... Um, 
more of a sharper tip shaped with flat rather than being completely round, which I don't know why they did that. Because Universe is supposed to be completely round instead of like a sharper tip. So I don't understand why they did that. But let's take a look at the arena. Double Decker looks really good, just like the anime one, minus the little hexagons. And then you stick your hand down here and then push up. That yellow plate does come off. It's a plastic plate. See, it's hard plastic and then that allows you to drop down it's decently sized i really like it um whole reason why i bought this set just so i could maybe reenact the final battle between all three of them spoiler alert for the anime um the final battle is greatest Raphael or glory ragnar versus dangerous belial or um devastate bellfire um Versus prop versus ultimate Valtriac, um, or ultimate Valkyrie, or I think it's called ultimate Evo Valtriac. So I don't know if this is called um, Devastate Evo Belial or Belfire. Devastate Evo Belfire. I don't know if that's what they call this, but. Let's get into the battles. We're going to do one battle with it with the lid on and one battle with the lid off. So we'll do the battle with the lid off. Both, for both battles, they're going to be low mode with tip on. So three, two, one. Let it three, two, one. Let it Phoenix wins that. And then round two. Three, two, one, let it rip. Three, two, one, let it rip. Um, that's a failed launch. That's an off the launcher burst. Um, can't really count that. So, yeah. That's the one thing I don't like about Bellfire is if you use a string launcher, be prepared for some off the launcher bursts. That's a lot with quad drive. Two more bursts. All right, both on. Let's see who takes this round. And all the testing I've done in all eight modes for quad, eight, yeah, wait. Yeah, quad drive, all eight modes. For the arena and the bays, Prominence Phoenix took it. So Prominence Phoenix took it right now. And now let's take the little lid part off. A little to reveal the middle drop down center. So three, two, one, more. And Phoenix has dropped down. Three, two, one, more. And Bellfire. Bellfire does get a knockout. So Bellfire does take a point for Phoenix. Round one. So let's see if he can maintain that. So yeah. Alright. Three, two, one, three. Three, two, one, three. Phoenix and him both and Bellfire just jumped down. Phoenix might win this just due to stamina. Bellfire is slowing down. Yeah. Alright, Phoenix. So it's 1 1. Alright, final battle. Alright. 3, 2, 1, let it rip. Uh, technical self knockout by Phoenix. Points are awarded. Finally, three, two, one. Let it rip. Right. Two, one. Right. Bellfire just dropped down. 
Phoenix actually went around and brought himself back up and then went straight down again. So, don't understand why I did that. But, let's see who wins. I think Bellfire has this. Bellfire does take it without the win. So, for the set, current price, it's about the same price as the... It's a little bit more than what the Motor Strike was. I think Motor Strike was 60 when it released. This one's like 66, um, 99. I think Motor Strike was like 16 or 59.99. If it was the same price, I would have rather gotten this than the Motor Strike due to the fact it has double levels. And um, I do like the Bellfire that comes with it. By the way, you can do an illegal hack by putting the L gear on it. F gear does not work. If you have Nexus, S gear works. V gear does not. So, F and V gear do not work on this. Um, Phoenix, really don't, really don't like how they cut most of the gimmicks off Phoenix, but it's Hasbro. What else do you expect? So, and I do like that they added the two extra tips, which I never really went over. But here, we're going to do a single elimination match going over... Um, Phoenix is going to have the Octo tip, and Bellfire is going to have the Merge slash, um, yeah, I think it's called Merge or Converge, something like that, tip. So, it's Stamina versus Attack. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Octo does seem pretty good, along with that Merge Octo tip is really good. I'd say the two best tips are this and the universe, but the universe, personally, I don't like it that much due to the fact that it's got the gimmick cut off of it. But again, if you want an easy fix, just get the Slayer Showdown, put it on it. Overall, I really like this set, especially for the stadium. And I kind of have to cut this short, guys. I'm um, doing my camera battery, but. In future videos, I will show TT, TT Bays inside of it, or Takara Toby Bays inside of it. So, stay tuned for that. See you guys.